Hi guys, I'm Lux with CommonSection.com. In this clip, we're going to be talking about what I think will be the most likely successor to Bitcoin as the preeminent cryptocurrency used across the globe. It is a matter of time before Bitcoin dies out because it has already shown several vast flaws that are going to make it obsolete in a relatively short period. Firstly, it is extremely slow to transact. The number of transactions that can be handled per second on its blockchain is approximately 7, which is slower than other cryptocurrencies such as Litecoin and tremendously slower than credit card companies' processing speeds. Secondly, in theory, its peer-to-peer -peer layout is supposed to make the system equal amongst all miners. However, because you are actually put in a pool of mined fractions of Bitcoins with other miners, you are effectively grouping miners collectively, creating some mining pools that are more powerful than others. This means some groups can control bit the Bitcoin system in a similar way that huge investment banks can manipulate the market. The last and scariest thing about Bitcoin is its decentralized nature actually works in favor of big government. Bitcoin was invented to circumvent government and banks by being the first effective decentralized currency. The problem is, many countries like China and the United Kingdom are studying potentially implementing a monetary system where all currency is digital currency on a single blockchain. This will effectively cause two things. Number one, the government will have a complete, uh, complete record of everything each one of its citizens purchases, and there will be no anonymity. And number two, it would bypass private banking institutions, which act as a buffer between the Fed and the population. Private banking is a necessary evil because without them, the government has unconditional control over the monetary system and the economy as a whole. In other words, decentralized currency ironically causes the opposite, a very centralized federal banking system. Now that we establish why Bitcoin is going to go down in flames, we have to consider a successor to the throne because there will be. My bet is on Tradecoin. Tradecoin is in its beta stages as of now, being developed in a lab within the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. What makes it so interesting is that it's backed by real-world objects, from gold to energy to crops. By doing this, there is real-world value behind the currency beyond just an ancillary price appointed by a market that doesn't know what's up from what's down. This allows for the ease and use of, effic of efficiency of cryptos without all the uncertainty and volatility of something that has no intrinsic value whatsoever. In theory, the engineers behind Tradecoin want to create alliances between nations as well as merchants to back the currency. By having these alliances, it should technically stabilize the currency and make it less risky, a, a less risky security rather, when there are major players involved as opposed to a single large entity. From an objective point of view, it makes sense. Naturally, any security backed by actual assets from several powerful merchants would inherently make a security safer and less volatile.